question 1 discounting and accumulating so a company expects to receive continuous cash flow of 350 per annum for the next 5 years it also expects to have a payout of 600 at the end of the first year and 400 at the end of the third year calculate the present value of these cash flows if new t equals to 1 minus 0 0.01 t so we have to do this for 0 less than t less than equals to 5 so first question 1 then we have Alt, uh, then you write present value is equals to alt equals to backslash int underscore 0 to the power 5 and then vt space backslash row space t dt so this gives me row t dt ok and then next line I am coming alt equals to equals to again I will give backslash int underscore 0 to the power 5 and now we will write 350 1 minus 0 0.01 t and this was given to us as dt ok so solving this next line alt equals to you solve this int underscore 0 to the power 5 once you solve this you get the uh, uh, sorry you have done already the integration so we'll not do right the integral 350 t minus we have 1.75 t square okay solving this you get this and again underscore 0 to the power 5 which is the limits you need to put and once you solve this you can just skip the in between steps and just write 1706.25 so this is my answer for uh, the present value of the thing and now we will do the present value of outgo so you can just write PV also the present value of outgo is 600 into 1 plus V so 600 V1 sorry one year it will uh, it is happening and 400 V3 it is happening for this many years so this will go up to 600 into just putting the values in our equation plus 400 into 0 0.97 these are not continuous so we will not do integration and 982 so therefore net present value is equal to 1706.25 minus 982 which is equals to 724.25 ok so how th this is how we write next question the force of interest at time t is given by delta t equals to 0 0.04 for 0 less than t less than 1 0 0.05 t minus 0 0.01 for 1 less than t less than equals to 5 and 0 0.2 4 for t greater than or equals to 5. Derive and simplify as far as possible for expressions for at where at is the total accumulated value at time t of an investment at time 0. Okay. So first we will calculate this. So every question should start on a new page. Control enter takes us to the new page and we will write question 2 part 1. Okay. Part 1 first is we need to have our uh, values for 0 less than t and less than equals to 1 ok so alt equals to for this value at is equals to it's given in the question 0 0.04 so this is basically e to the power 0 0.04 t and brackets close space it will come ok next part is alt equals to 1 less than t less than equals to 5 ok so once we write this alt equals to a t for this part is equals to a1 into e to the power integration int underscore 1 to the power t and then we have our values which we can write this value 0 0.05 s minus 0.01 you need to be very careful when you write all this brackets close ds ok now come out of the highlighted region and then close a bracket and then space so see this will go up 
okay be sure of coming out of this highlighted region once you are done this and then solving this we have e to the power 0.04 okay into e to the power backslash i n t underscore 1 to the power t and then 0.05 s minus 0.01 again come out of this ds okay and space ds come out of this close the bracket space okay so now this happens now equals to just solve this equation e to the power 0.04 space into e to the power and solving the integral now just e to the power you write and then solve your integral 0.25 s square minus 0.01 s brackets close underscore 1 to the power t space and space okay so this solves it and then you can just write e to the power 0.04 again all t equals to e to the power 0 0.04 and into solving this e to the power 0 0.025 t square minus 0 0.01 t minus 0 0.025 and plus 0 0.01 okay brackets close space and now you can just write the final answer which is e to the power 0 0.025 t square minus 0 0.01 t and plus 0 0.025 and brackets close. So this is my first part and the last part is all t equals to 5 for t greater than 5. The last part for t greater than 5 we have all t equals to a t is equals to a 5 into e to the power backslash i n t underscore 5 to the power t ok 5 to t 0 0.24 ds again highlighted regions come out and space so this is there all t equals to <coughs> we have taken out e so just we will put the values e to the power 0 0.025 into 5 square ok minus 0 0.01 into 5 plus 0 0.025 so just putting the val uh, values into here you have again e to the power on solving this integration you will get the value e to the power 0 0.24 t ok underscore 5 to the power t so this is your values and space and just put brackets around this so that limits are no and then next step all t equals to you solve this this becomes e to the power 0 0.6 and this will become e to the power 0 0.24 t minus 1.2 ok and then on solving this e to the power 0 0.24 t minus 0 0.6 so this is my final first part answer and the second part says a continuous payment stream is received at the rate of 25 e to the power minus 0.02 t units per annum between 5 and 10 calculate the present value of payments of this stream. So we need to calculate the present value of 25 e to the power minus 0 so first write part 2 and then present value is equals to we can do it directly so alt equals to backslash i n t underscore 5 to the power 10 25 e to the power minus 0 0.02 t space dt and sorry and with a discounting factor of vt dt so this is how we calculate our values for this 
so now if you solve this alt equals to backslash int underscore 5 to the power 10 25 e to the power minus 0 0.02 t and this value for vt we write vt is given to us as e to the power minus 0 0.24 t minus 0 plus 0 0.6 so which we have calculated here this uh, we have calculated is 80 and vt is 1 by 80 so we are putting this value directly in dt ok on solving this I get alt equals to backslash int underscore 5 to the power 10 we will be left with e to the power minus 0 0.26 t dt inside and outside dt and outside we will have the constants which is equals to our 25 e to the power 0.6 so these are the values and now you solve the integration that is 25e to the power 0.6 and then we will just put the values e to the power minus of 0.26t <coughs> space divided by e to the power divided by minus 0 0.26 space brackets close underscore 5 to the power 10 ok once we are done this next line is putting 25e to the power 0.6 and we will solve this to get e to the power minus 2.6 minus e to the power minus 1.3 brackets close so you solve this finally and here there will be a divided also divided by minus 0 0.26 okay. solving this we get 63 point no. solving this we will get 34.7356 Okay, so this is our final answer for this question to also. Okay, that's it. Thank you.